Hey everybody, welcome back to the morning of day 30 in my 30 days to die series. Yeah, so I was doing a couple things in the evening there, getting all my stuff out that we're going to need for the Horde Night tonight. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do too much during the day, but I was making some tin landmines, some cooking pot mines. We, I made another hubcap landmine. Now I can go ahead and make hubcaps and things like that in here and tin cans, but I'm only using the stuff that we found. Um... So I'm only going to be planting these mines down outside. Iron spike traps and woods traps I'll plant down outside. That's all we have left. I'm going to make a few more bullets here, but I'm going to do uh, some shotgun rounds first. Loaded up myself with some steel arrows here, so we'll have those. Um, and we got the submachine gun and the assault rifle. I'm going to put a few other things in my uh, tool belt here, but we're not going to need all that much. We've got our 30 Molotovs, our iron bars and forged iron just in case we need it for repairs or hammer in case we need it for repairs but let's go ahead and make um let's see here I'm gonna make some shotgun shells let's make 19 that'll give us 160 rounds which is plenty and then i think we're gonna put the rest into 7.62 ammo 39 rounds more sure and then we got one left we can make one more nine millimeter get rid of all the gunpowder there we go Let's get that going and drop this stuff back in here so that can go in there and then these guys go in here okay so uh, that being done let's go outside um, and we're gonna plant all our stuff here that we got that we can put out now let's get our uh, what do we have here for armor leave the mining helmet on I think we're gonna stay with the mining helmet let's take off the leather armor and we'll put on our military armor for now. That should give us a much better um, armor rating 32. Armor rating 28. Really? I think we're going to stay with the leather armor then. I don't really see any advantage to putting this stuff on today. Uh, I don't think we're going to need the pistol. Um, yeah, I don't see any advantage to it. I mean, it's four points is not a big deal. And I don't see getting into a lot of fights. Like, yeah, I think we'll be fine. All right, now we've got to put some of this stuff in insulated liner. Now, plastic plating goes in what? Light armor? Scrap plating goes in heavy armor. That goes in heavy. And this is steel plating. We don't need that. Helmet light, we don't need. Wood splitter, we don't need. Reduces fall down, but that can go in our boots. Uh, fire three round bursts, eh? Do I want to take that? Improve fittings. Take that. Water purifier. Let's put that in our helmet. Uh, I don't think I want to take that. Not right now, anyway. Okay, so let's put... Um, let's get some of our gear going here. So... This guy's got insulated lining already. Improved fittings. Okay, so that's... I think that's the reason why we've got... Uh, yeah, you've got that. So insulated lining can go in here. Um, modify so insulated lining can go in here uh, improved fittings can go in here can you put more than one of these in here? no okay so let's confirm this and then we want to take our boots right modify and let's put in the plating and the impact bracing on our boots complete that and then we've got see here our mining helmet and we'll put the purifier I mean we're not going to use it but we'll put the purifier in the mining helmet because why not all right so let's put these back on all right okay so let's go outside yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that much today. We've had some interlopers in the evening. 
don't see anybody out here right now. Oh, except for you. What's up, buddy? That was the last stone arrow that we had. Oh, come on. Good night. Uh, I'm not sure why I picked up the stone arrow, but whatever. Uh, so here, I think, now we do this, and we choose this. Get our steel arrows out. Let's have a look around here. So let's put those guys in there. And you, and bring out the wood traps and the claw hammer. We don't have any wood, but we can pick some up. All right, uh, I don't see any damage over here. Must be on the other side. Now, I, did, I know I did hear some die out here. Looks like we're still pretty good. i turn the helmet light off. All right, let's grab a tree. Oh, there's somebody over here, a couple people. Let's not waste any ammo just yet. You stay down. Ooh, juicy. Let's get rid of this tree. It's blocking my view here. All right, we don't need these. All right, let's go see if we need to fix anything here. I'm hoping they didn't attack the... Uh, Spikes here. I don't think I don't think anything hit the spikes here. I think we're good. Okay, we're gonna climb over these in a second, and lay down the rest of these spikes. I want to put them inside of this layer. I think this layer will stay intact as it is. I was thinking about adding more to the outside here, but I don't think there's really any need. Now I've cranked up. Uh, when I started this series, I had the zombie. There we go. Here's one. I had the zombies set to um, eight, and I cranked it up to max. Max is like 64, so we should have a good size horde tonight. Now I don't know. Yeah, see, someone came through here. I don't know if I'm going to be continuing the series after day 30. I might. I don't know yet. Haven't quite decided. I want to start another one. I think that was it. Whoever it was that went through there was pretty tough. They made it that far. Okay, a little bit of damage over here. Alright, with whatever we got left, we're going to drop it on the inside of the... Uh... Alright, let's just actually go back in the front. We'll go out the, out the back door. Should really not leave these doors open. Okay, so we're ready to go. I mean, we got iron doors here, right? I don't think they're going to get into the uh, center. So we should be fine. Iron door up here. If for whatever reason they somehow get inside and try to come out this way. I mean, I'm going to leave this as wood for now. We might end up, if they somehow find the best way to get to me is to go inside and come out that door then we'll I'll just break this wood up here and they won't be able to get to me thought I heard somebody there for a second nope okay let's get down below let's get our iron out iron spike traps we want to put them around here let's put them at the back here first Okay, now we want to go around the pillar. Like so. And I have no idea if they're gonna like okay, we got six wood we got six wood left. I have no idea where they're gonna come from. Um You know what? Put them right here. Okay, let's just break out the grass here too. Should have did this before. It doesn't really matter, but it just makes it easier to see stuff. Okay, 
So now we've got five spikes left. I don't think, I mean, I think we just throw them in here. Sure, that'll work. Got our frames, let's nerd pull it back up. And I hope we don't fall, because that would be bad. Alright, so that's that done. Uh, now let's put some stuff in here. I'm going to put this in there for now. Um, what else do we need in there? Oh, shoot, I wanted to lay the landmines down. Ah, damn it. Alright, um, we can do that. We can still do it. Can we go off here? Yep. Okay, so landmines. Let's go with... We'll put half on each side. Now, I think these ones do the least amount of damage. So let's put them... I don't see, I have no idea where they're going to come from. Well, they're most likely going to be coming around here too at some point. So let's put one, two, three, four. Hubcap mines, let's put one, two. That's not really where I wanted to put it, but that's fine. We got cooking pot mines. Now, I don't know if we need to put a space between them. Like, will they set each other off? That's a question I don't know. All right, let's get across to the other side. And we do that by doing this. Yeah. That's tricky. All right, now let's go put this up at the front. We were back one there, so that can go there. It's weird how it's like lifting them up like that. One there. One there. One there. One there. We got three of these left. So I have no idea what's going to happen with these. But at least we'll get to see it from up here. That's why I put them out that way. I want to be able to see at least what they do. Now, I think the hubcap landmines, out of all of them, do the most. And then the cooking pot mines, and then the, just the tin can mines. Now, I didn't know, I didn't realize you could actually make hubcaps and cooking... Well, I knew you could make cooking pots. But I didn't know you could make hub, hubcaps and tin cans in the forge. Uh, but apparently you can. So, there's a freaking bear. Where the hell did the bear spawn? Don't wreck my shit, man. I just... You heard that bear, right? I just put this shit out and the bear shows up. Where the hell is he? What the hell is going on? Okay, he's not inside here. I'm stealthing here because I don't want him to <laughs> I don't want to wreck all my work. Where the frig is the bear? You heard that, right? And I was sure. What are those, dogs? They look like it. I wonder if it was a zombie bear and dogs that ran by. Oh, man. I'm going to have to kill them before, uh, before tonight. I don't see them out here, though. There's a dog.
Okay, there's that dog. Oh, come on. There you go. Nope. Couldn't get lucky twice in a row. Yeah, I didn't have to kill you. Now, I bet you it's outside of my view range. Okay, you know what? Just in case we need to get the hell out of there fast. Let's go hunting some bear. You know what? We haven't tested the AK yet. Let's go test this freaking AK out. If there's a bear out here, we gotta know what this thing can do. I don't see him. I was sure I heard a bear. He's gonna sneak up on us. Well, what you watch. Where the hell? I'm hunting some bear. I'm loaded for bear. I can't find me no bear. And let's hope it ain't no zombie bear, because he'll kill our ass dead. I don't see him anywhere. Now, I have no idea if he if he just despawned or this bugs me when I can't see past trees could just be hiding under the canopy there okay our uh, day is now turned red at the top middle there which means horde is coming tonight There's a zombie. I'm not going to test this on a zombie. Okay, stay hidden for a second. I don't see anything. Man, that sounded for sure like a bear. I was kind of really hoping we would find one, but it does not look like it. All right, well, let's head back around the front. Actually, let's go back up in the house. I don't know if there's anything else I want to do tonight or today. I could go over to, I know I said I was going to go over there, but I don't want anything nasty to happen. I have no idea what to expect over there. So let's just hack these guys up and get a bit of leather out of it. I mean, we got tons of leather anyway, but... Let's just get them out of here. Get our arrows back. Oh, come on. Really? Really? What the hell? Dude. Arrow. Thank you. Alright, now let's fix this. Where's our hammer? I put it up in the... Let's just leave it up here. Because we don't need it anymore. Do we, guys? I gotta make sure I bring out... Um, repair kits, too. Alright, put this down here. Let's go back out this way. So we're going to run with the... We'll have the shotgun and the belt, but I don't think I'm going to use it at all. Um, so shotgun. It's all going to be AK and submachine gun tonight. I'm really hoping that's all we need. If we have to switch to shotgun, we will. we got the bow with, with almost 200... Well, we'll have 250 rounds of ammo for the bow. So we're ready there. And yeah, that's it. I mean, we're ready to go here. 
like I said, I could, I mean, worst comes to worst, we run in here, we get on our bike, get the hell out. But I don't think we're that's going to come to that. All right, we're going to dump all the stuff we don't need in here. Um, and then we'll come back for Hornet. I'm, I'm not going to record much more than this today. Um, like I said, simply because I think we're ready for the Horde Night. I don't think we really need to do anything else. We need to get our steak and potato meal, which we're going to eat just before the battle. Um, so let's put our bacon and eggs in here for now. Going to keep our yuca juice on us, our coffee on us. Our meat stew we'll have out there. I don't think we'll need it, but we'll have it out there just in case. Uh, plant fibers can go in here. Um, I don't think we're going to need any wood. I say that now, but then when we get out there, I'll be like, oh shit, I wish I had some wood on me. Um, max out our steel arrows so we're good to go and let's leave some stuff in here that we don't need so we're not going to need the iron pick I hope the wrench we're not going to need don't think we'll need the fire axe um, so AK actually let's leave that there the bow AK shotgun can go there Submachine gun, hammer we want to have on the bar, first aid bandages we want to have on our bar. We got our Molotov, so we'll be ready to use those if we need them. The shovel can stay here. The uh, stone arrow can go in here because we don't need it. Looting goggles, I'm going to wear, well, do I want the experience or do I want, I'm going to leave the looting goggles behind. From what I understand, and I'm not 100% positive on this, but from what I understand, what how the looting goggles help you is um, they increase the amount of things that you find. So for instance, not necessarily the number of items that you find, but the number of a stack that you find. So for instance, with a looting bonus of 150, if I was to find it 9 millimeter ammo, it might be multiplied by 150%. I don't know. It gives me it gives you a little bit more of whatever stack you find. So for instance, if you're trying to find acid and you find one, uh, with a high enough bonus, you might find three or four. Right, so, but it doesn't give you an increased chance to find them, from what I understand. I could be wrong, but that's the way I've been understanding it. So, uh, and I think we need to take. Did I just hit that? Oh my god, I did. Hit the wrong damn button again. Ah. Why do I always do that? God, you're an idiot. Okay. Um. So that's that done. I'll sort that later. I want to take like a few just like regular water. I don't know, like if we set ourselves on fire tonight throwing Molotovs, which I don't know if we ever end up using the Molotovs, but we'll have them. Um, so if we light ourselves on fire with a Molotov, we'll be able to put ourselves out with a bottle of water. So I want to have those on me just in case. Um, first aid bandages, I think we'll put in the toolbar. Just in case things go south real fast, we'll have those uh, regular bandages we're good with. And yeah, I think we are good to go. Molotovs, what am I missing here? I feel like I'm missing something. You guys are probably like, ah, you need to do something. Oh, repair kits, right? That was one thing we need. I don't think we're going to need this many, but five is probably plenty. Um... So in case we need to repair the weapons, I don't think we will, but we might have to. So that's done. What do we got in here? Got our ammo. Remainder of the ammo. So I think that's it. I think we're ready to go. And we'll see how we do. All right, I'll see you guys at Horde time. All right, guys, it's almost 9 o'clock here. And... Sorry, I guess that wouldn't be 9 o'clock. It'd be 7 o'clock. Getting close to Horde time. we got three hours to go in game so it's not so bad uh, the one thing I did forget to do and I went and rectified was I was gonna pull the modifiers out of my um, let's have a look here uh, I was gonna pull the modifiers out of my um, tools which I went back and did now so if we have a look at the modifier here if we pull this off we're doing an extra four damage there's the uh, thunder signifying that they got the horde coming um, so yeah and I went up did it the same thing with my SMG Let's have a look at the modifier here. Added a couple points of damage to that. And then the shotgun. We put a uh, modifier on this guy as well. Yeah, it's adding one damage. But it is a, uh, 
um, uh, wide effect, so it's going to be hitting more damage um, across the board. So let's uh, finish that up. All right, so we're going to be using the AK, starting with the AK. Um, and let's go up here. Getting close to that time. I'll turn the generator on very shortly. Um, so just so you know, what I did, uh, I didn't do very, very much. Um, I went and I brought some concrete with me just in case they start knocking some concrete out, but I, I doubt it. But I put, doubled up the concrete there. Uh, so that's level two concrete and I finished up along there as well. And then on both sides, on either side over there and there, uh, I did almost, uh, actually I did all the way around the third level up with regular concrete. And then the front door, I, I um, went around and concreted all the blocks up there too. Not double level, not reinforced, but just regular concrete. I don't think they're going to try and break in the front door, but just in case they do, it'll be a little harder for them to do so. It's spooky, uh, spooky horde time uh, noises. So I'm going to leave the headlight on. And we've got our generator here. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. You know, they should, when they spawn them, they should spawn in one big pack. So like it's like just one big roaming horde that just wandering the area rather than coming out of nowhere all over the place. But uh, yeah, no big deal. I'm interested to see how the uh, the um, spikes and barbed wire hold up and how quickly it holds up. Um, the one thing I could have done was made the flat barbed wire and rather than having the stand up barbed wire and put it on top of all the spikes. So if they try to jump on them or over them, they'll get stuck in the barbed wire first uh, or put it all along the ground just so it just stops them there. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, can definitely make some improvements. I'm interested to see how many zombies show up. So if we go have a look here real quick. Um, and we go to our players. It tells you what game stage you're on. I'm 138. I don't know what that means. I have no idea. Right? We've got 500, uh, sorry, 859 zombie kills already. Uh, level 67. I've died twice. So 138, I have no idea what that means. Um, but I've cranked the zombies up to max. Now they're only going to be at uh, normal level, like strength wise. So I don't know how easy, easy they will be to kill. But when they start coming, um, I, I'm interested to see how many show up. So uh, we've got our cage above us here for vultures. I don't know if we'll get any spitting vultures. Apparently some vultures spit like cops do. So the cops will barf up at you. Um, we're going to try and kill them first. And the other thing, too, is I don't know if we're going to get any irradiated zombies. We might with our game stage. We haven't seen any in-game yet. Um, but then again, we haven't really looted any place where they might actually show up. So I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll, we, we will get some. And if we do, let's hope they get on those mines down there. <laughs> I'm interested to see how those mines uh, work out. So let's get our uh, generator bank on here just so we can see. This should be able to run all night without a problem. So now we got our lights on. Get a good idea of what it looks like. I'm gonna. I, I'm leaving it this dark because I want it to be really, really moody when we fight these guys. So we'll have our, our helmet light on, which will really light up where we're firing. But uh, right now, look at that blood moon, or the blood sun. Yeah, they're coming. They are coming. Looks like we got a dark spot there. So probably what I'll do is I'll set up another light over here, right. Um, and I went down the hole. I thought there for a second I was glitching out. Um, so another light on this side as well to, to illuminate the dark spots here. And then, um, yeah, that's what we'll do, what we'll run with. Now, um, one of the things I was planning on doing, if I, I, I don't know if I'll actually continue this to, uh, to day 60. I'd like to try and do it, but I, I don't know. I'm not convinced yet that that's what I'll probably end up doing. I might start over and do a seven days. I have a horde night every seven days. But if I was going to do it, what I would do is I would extend this platform across to the other side over there and run it out that way more and then build a uh, another um, minor horde base out there. And I was thinking about doing like a four pillar structure. So there'd be four pillars and then 
bars in between with a big gap in the center so I could just throw Molotovs down and then right at the very bottom in between all the four pillars just fill it with spikes and then around the outside barbed wire and then around that wooden spikes and then around that mines and and be out there and then if they started to tear that down I could run back across and come in here right and handle them from inside this base so that would be my thought if I go to 60 days and see how that works I don't know um, I've seen some success with bases where they've got pillars and um, oh, we got tons of gas uh, where they've got you know pillars and, and then um, uh, bars that they can just shoot down on the, on the horde with you are going to need a space to drop Molotovs down but like I said if we make it if we do it properly uh, with a big hole in the center we should easily be able to drop Molotovs down all right 45 minutes we're gonna start up here find out where they're coming from hammer them on the uh, the barbed wire down there and then once they start breaking through and getting down in, inside the walls here we're gonna drop down in here and hopefully they come up this way if they don't then we're coming back up here to fight because I don't know how else we're gonna do it our helmet light should give us plenty of light down there let's just turn it on now all right 35 minutes 35 minutes. Look at that. All we're going to hear for this next 31 minutes is the hum of this. It's a heart, and, the, and of course the thunder. It's a harbinger of doom. All right. Keep the burst low. Manage the recoil. Kill the cops first. Kill the irradiates first. Spider zombies, I don't care because they ain't going to get to me. Not in here they ain't. Well, if they get up on the bridge and try and break in the door, that's a lot of door they got to break through. I can just come up here and hammer them. Should be okay with that, I think. I should have had this go out one more and look down, but I didn't. So, But I think we'll be okay. If they do show up at the door, we'll probably be able to get them from here. I tested the AK. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, so I got to be careful with that. 12 minutes. 11 minutes. I'm kind of worried because, like I said, I haven't fought a horde before. I've watched it done plenty of times. And in all the games that I've played in here, I haven't actually fought a horde yet. I've just been building and killing zombies and enjoying myself. Did I see something? That uh, must have been the smoke I saw. I thought I saw something jumping over here. All right, three minutes, two minutes. Here they come. I apologize if it's loud, but uh, I don't see anybody yet. I hear them. Throwing the spikes around my base. They're in the base. They spawned in my freaking base. Can you believe that? Of all the damn luck. Of all the damn luck. They go ahead and spawn in the goddamn base. Look at them. All of them in the base. Oh my god. Are you serious? Well, they're breaking out. Uh, how, oh, God. That's worst case scenario. How do I charge this up? Do I hold it? There we go. And that's why we want our water. Come on, guys. I am so bad at this.
I have no idea what these guys are going to end up doing. Well, I guess it's a good thing I made this and I should have brought... Wow. Those spikes, man. It almost seems like... It was total waste to make this base. Don't go that way. Ah, oh, here they come. Ah, oh, we got irradiated. Nice. Alright, let's get in here. I don't know if they're going to come after me up this way. Nope, they're not. I guess they don't see a way to get to me because there's a gap. Radiated. Ah, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, somebody hit the mine. Enjoy the spikes, enjoy the spikes. Okay. Okay, we got our white down there. Dog, yeah, they ain't gonna make this jump, are they? Oh, finally. Hearing dogs, too. Well, we're gonna have some repairs to do. Come on. What? What the hell? Why am I stuck here? Is that it? Wow, they wrecked that wall. I guess they don't see this gap as being legitimate enough to get to me. And I guess that there, they see if they can get up on the wall and get across this way to get me. Well, that was like... All that for that, really? How many mines did we lose? Oh, a fair bit. Looks like the the hubcap landmines went off. We still got a few left though. But they burrowed their way through a lot. Like they, once they kind of found their way through, they kind of just cut a hole. I didn't see any loot bags drop. Oh man. All right, let's go and see if there's anybody. Actually, you know what? Let's go up here. I don't think we're going to get anybody else. I think that was it. Seven out of a thousand fuel. It's all quiet. Oh, I hear zombies in my house. Really, guys? Is that it? I still hear somebody. Man, I'm telling you. They're out there on the spikes. Now, I don't know if those were just wanderers. I think a lot of this bridge, bridge damage is from me. Yeah, see, they just broke through the wall here. 
They spawn in my damn base. I didn't think they could spawn within my boundaries here. But they spawned right in here. Good thing they didn't spawn in my house. They broke out some blocks under there. Wow. So even if we upgrade all this to reinforce concrete... I mean, if they spawn in the base, that's bad. So I think what we have to do next time, uh, maybe we'll do it next time, is we'll have to... There's that damn bear. Come on, buddy. Yep. Um, oh, there is a loot bag down there. Do I go get it? I think so. I'm still hearing random zombies. That was a dog. Let's just do this. Better be something good. Well, another engine that we don't need. Thanks for that. Well, the spikes certainly did their job, though. I mean, if you look at it, that whole pile of zombies that went through there, they went out and around, and they tried to come down this way, and they just got wrecked on the spikes. I don't know how many the spikes got, but we didn't get very much experience. They must have got a lot. Spikes must have done a lot of damage. Like, I mean, that's all gone. That's gone. I mean, I guess we should run the wire right to there. And then... You know what we should do? I still hear something over there. We should knock part of this wall out. So that they have access to get out of there. So if they ever do spawn in here again, they can get out. I'll put like a, a iron door there or something. Oh, another loot bag. Yes, please. Eh, can't do it that way. There we go. What do we got? Nothing. Man. Alright, let's see what they did to the front of the building. So they knocked out a bit here. They didn't get inside this way though, I don't think. I'll have a look in a second. We'll turn around. Now the front... They didn't even really touch the front. Yeah, they didn't break through over there. They got to the spikes and that was it. That I forgot to fix yesterday. So I don't... I mean... Not a whole lot. They broke the part of this door. They almost got in over here. So if we... Reinforce concrete that... This is all fine. So I just think that this is probably too far away from this for them to spawn. So if that's the case, then what we would need to do, like I said, once we get this fixed up, this is really, honestly, really minimal damage. A lot less than I thought they were capable of. Um, yeah, look at this. They, they came out this way, and then they tried to funnel their way along the wall to get to me. I'm not sure why they chose that path. I think because right there, there's like a little dip in the ground. Is that where the dip was? Where the spikes were slightly lower? No, it's over there. So I have no idea why they chose this place. Uh, 
and then they funneled their way around here and went along this way and just got killed. So I'm thinking if we do do this next time... Yeah, look at that. They almost knocked these out. I can make these four wide. But I don't think we'll need to next time. Like I said... Um, if we do this, like I said, next time, this will be the backup base. And, you know, here's the problem, too. Is they spawn a certain distance away from your fort, right? Or wherever your wherever your base is. So, I guess if we keep it too close. Like, they did... One guy came in here. One guy. And that damage is from me shooting at him. <sighs> Man. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Well, you know what? I think we'll end this series. And then, because this wasn't <laughs> wasn't really a majorly climactic horde night. We'll end the series here. And then I'll do a 7 Days to Die series. And I'll try a different different base build than that one. Or maybe it's still like a similar tower like this. Right? Where it kind of goes around the outside. The center all being open, which we'll see down at the ground. We'll have four pillars to funnel the zombies into the center part here where they think they can get to me. Then I'll be able to drop Molotovs on them, fire down on them. We'll have mines and stuff around. We'll put lighting up. We'll have to do it all over time. But I'm sure it can be done. It just really depends on how many zombies we get and what types. We did have a few radiated zombies, this one, but not enough to be concerned about. And they don't even think they did a lot of damage to the base down here at all. But if they had all come from one direction and gone after the, the just this pillar down here, I would have been in a lot of trouble. I think the way they build this, and I've seen a couple builds, I was that's one thing I was concerned about was was the way this was built, is that I think you need to have like like angle blocks so that they think they can get across, but then they fall in a hole and fall down here, because this was all wasted. So yeah, I'll have to reconsider the base. But I'll do that in my next 7 days series. I'll, I'll do another one. And we'll have it uh, the Horde Knight spawn every 7 days instead of 30. And see how it goes then. Alright, so for now I'm going to end this one. Like I said, you can look for the possibility of me continuing this series. I, I might do it, I don't know yet. It's just like, it's going to be a lot of work to get to the next uh, uh, day 60 for the next Horde. But that might give us enough time to like really prepare a new base. And maybe we do it away from here. Maybe we just don't have this here. Um, I've already spent a lot of resources on this one. But 30 days I can get a hell of a lot more resources. We can build something way better. Um, but yeah, I'll see how it goes. All right, I might do something intermittent where I play this kind of off camera for a bit. Grab some resources and then you know, we'll figure out what we do. All right. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can drop any comments or, or questions in the comment section down below. Um, also, if you want me to continue this, just, you know, drop a comment down below. Tell me you want me to continue it. Um, if not, then, you know, we can go on to the next one. Um, either way, it doesn't matter to me. All right. Until next time, we'll see you all later.